What's going on YouTube? Come back at you with another video. So this is kind of crazy. One of the people who's been charged in connection with the death of Jam Master J actually was on Instagram in multiple different posts paying homage and tribute. A lot of people out there reacting to this. I'm going to show you some of these posts. Then I'm going to show you what people on Instagram are saying in the comments. So this dude, this is Carl Jordan Jr., King Yachty, RFGs on Instagram. He says, every now and then, I pull up on the big homie. Never forget where you come from. Always show the OGs respect, because one day, hopefully God allows you the blessing of becoming one. Hashtag Jam J forever. Straight out of Hollis, RFGs, Light Skin Can. All right, you can read all those. So the next one, he said, happy birthday. Hashtag Hollis Forever, hashtag Jam J, all leather Adidas suit, fly shit swag, rest up king. The next one, rest up king, I love everything about you, the swag you showed, love, and you did so many things you didn't have to do, the real definition of a king, I got some of my swag from you, hashtag rest in peace, Jam Master J, Hollis he said, happy birthday, OG. So many stories, so many memories. I remembered when we was in the Land Cruiser coming from McDonald's and you was playing Killing Me Softly, Lauren Hill Joint. If we knew the words, we got $50. We all knew the words. You gave us all $50. Each, love and miss you. We got to protect the good ones. RIP JMJ. You got another one. Hashtag RIP JMJ. It's up to the real ones to keep the legacy alive. Money doesn't make the man. Man makes the money. Always acknowledge those who came before you and make sure those who come after you acknowledge you. My mission. Now, I'm going to show you what people are saying in this dude's comments in regards to him posting about Jam Master J. There's a lot of comments. Dude, you thought you got away with killing that man? Shit, brazy. And he's still walking around that motherfucker. Dude, hella bipolar. What goes around comes around. Laughing my ass off. You are a crazy guy. This shit right here, crazy. He thought this case was going to be unsolved forever. Yo, I just came here to confirm after the Jam Master J story. Karma found you, bozo. A whole clown. Clown, what's done in the dark always comes to the light. How dare you? The worst of the worst. How sick is this? You done now? That's grimy, not feeling this. If he had something to do with Jam Master J murder, this is scary. Look at how he's acting like he didn't have anything to do with it. People like this exist in the world. We'll take your life and celebrate like they did nothing wrong. And this is kind of crazy to me. Again, you have to remember that this dude has not been convicted. Let him get his day in court. Let him go through the motions, get his due process, and see how it plays out. If, in the end, he is guilty, this is definitely some sick shit. Why you would kill somebody and then be on Instagram acting like it was all good. I don't know if that was his way of trying to keep people off his trail make it seem like there was major love there or if there was some other shit going on honestly i have no idea why this dude was doing what he did but it's definitely interesting i want to know what people out there think about this in the comments hit the like subscribe share leave some feedback make sure you ring the notification bell if you're subscribed so you get updates my future videos when i drop also please take just one second to click the link that i'm going to pin as a top comment it's going to take you to a dope artist out there trying to get his YouTube channel monetized. He's almost there. Please click the link and subscribe. Costs you absolutely nothing. I appreciate you watching. Peace.